is March 18th, 2020, and I am trying to get these angles right. Y'all know sis, I'm not nowhere near as good. <laughs> Anywho, so just like I told y'all before, let me just hop right into it. Welcome back, everybody. Just like I told y'all before, that I was not going to do anything unless I had something interesting to show you guys and today I actually do have something just a little bit interesting to show you guys um today I got my meds as you could tell from the title today I have I don't know if you guys can see my address but today I received my meds so here are my meds yeah I got my meds they beat up my box to hell y'all this I don't even know if y'all can see. They did me dirty. Y'all see my butt? They did me dirty. They did me so dirty. But um, that's not what matters. As long as nothing is damaged on the inside and all my meds are here, we are good to go. So let's crack this bad boy open because what I want to share with y'all is that progesterone needle. I'm, I'm so nervous. I'm so, I'm, I'm like afraid. And then I the YouTube because you know, it's a you know a couple doctors and stuff on there that explains how to do it and everything, and, and they gave me a website to go to. But I think I pretty much got a hang of it. You got to draw back the air, then you got to insert it into the vial. You got to inject, inject, <laughs> inject the air into the vial, and then you pull back how much medication you need. But I'll be pulling back just a little bit more just to be able to push some out so that there's no bubbles in my stuff. Um, everything is stored at room temperature, so I didn't have to put anything in the refrigerator. They actually arrived yesterday, but I didn't get off of work until 10 o'clock. And by the time I normally get off of work, I'm exhausted. I could care less about doing anything, and I'm not even trying to be funny or mean or anything like that. But I be tired, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to hop right on and get to talking. And then it's still kind of weird to vlog in front of me. So, of course, as usual, they give you your... Um, they give you your receipt and they tell you what medications have arrived and then they give you the patient information leaflet as well to tell you about the side effects and you know the purpose of the meds and everything like that um and this in this uh in this box today i will be receiving um alcohol swab sharps container needle syringe needles syringe more needles, progesterone oil, Lupra, and my uh, estradiol, which is my estradiol, yeah, my est my estradiol or whatever. Um, so this is just telling me what's in here. Like I said, they got the patient um, information leaflet that's in here as well. Um, more patient information just that stuff um and then my big bag of my little medium bag of meds um that's it big ass box for that right there all right so let's throw that to the side um i'm sorry for saying um so i'm not really a big home person but um so i needed a new sharp container because ibf round number one um my sharp container ended up getting full so how you put this together is you take the top out, you turn it around, you click it down, and then it goes inside here. You got the little plastic goes inside here. Now, I've made the mistake before of locking, locking this flap in there, and I, for damn, be damned was able to get this back open so I won't make that mistake anymore but you can close it up and then you got a little carrier whatever so that's the shower container um we all seen one next thing I have is the um syringes these are three milliliter syringes these are for my um progesterone and oil I'll pull one out so y'all can it comes in a pack like this and I'll pull one out so y'all can see it. I'm not gonna open it obviously but here's the syringe. It's you know it doesn't have a needle on the tip. It's gonna it's gonna have a let me see how I can do that. 
It's gonna have a replaceable needle at the tip, so it screws on and screws off. And then, you know, this is the plunger part that you plunger and everything. And I will be receiving one, I don't know if you can see the numbers on there, but that is number one right here. So I'll be getting that much of there in there. This is pretty thick. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little intimidated. It's a little thick. It's, it is. It's a little thick. I'm a little intimidated, but I ain't gonna. We're not gonna sweat it because we know the purpose, right? So, not gonna sweat it, but it is a little thick. Okay. So, I'm gonna put this bad boy back <clears throat> with the rest of his brothers and sisters in there. Uh, how many did they give me? They gave me 10 of them. So, I don't know if they're reusable. I don't know. I, I got 10 of them. Um, but I'm, I know for sure that they're from my suggestion ones. These are my Estradiol, Estradiol tablets. They are tablets. And I got 180 of them. 180. My copay for all these medications were, was $15. My Estradiol. These are tablets. They start off like... They start off one tablet twice a day, to two tablets twice a day, to two tablets three times a day, and then they go back down to two tablets twice a day. That's these. And I'm gonna take two, the, the most I'm gonna take is two tablets three times a day, and I'm gonna do it um, seven, three, and 11. That's 24 hours. So we'll do it like that. So that's the estradiol. I really don't even need to put that back because that's going to actually be getting ready to start soon. Um, what's this? This here is my progesterone and oil. I'll come close so you guys can see what that looks like. I don't know if y'all can see if I'm when I'm back there at the table where all my stuff is at. Okay, so you open up the little box. It's just like a regular little box. And then you got this thick ass solution. It's not even full. I thought it would be more in there. But I don't know if you can see it. But you see it? It's a little bit on the thick side. Just a little bit on the thick side. It's not it's not as thick as I thought it would be, honestly. It's still it's liquidy, but it's it's just a thick. So I would pop that top off. Boop! I would pop that top off and then I would stick the syringes in there. This is this is this is what I'm scared of. I am. I'm, I'm scared. Of I am. And you know, progesterone gives you all the real feels. So I'll be feeling like shit for a while once I start picking up. Okay. So last time they gave me a box of alcohol prep. This time they just put a couple in the Ziploc. These my alcohol swabs. These are my 22 gauge needles. Now, from what the pharmacist, these are my 22 gauge needles. The pharmacist said the higher the number, the thinner the needle. So, since this is the 22 inch, and these is the 18 gauge. So, oh, motherfucker. Okay, so we about to compare these needles. So this is what I'm scared of. This, this, this is, this is the part that causes pause. Okay, so boom. Oh, child. How many needles in here? Child. Um, ten. So it's ten needles in here. So I'm hoping only I do this shit ten times. Is that? Oh, child. These are smaller to me. Like they're shorter. These are shorter to me. I don't know. Motherfuckers. Ooh, motherfuckers. I'm sorry for cussing y'all. These these needles is, is they they big. Ooh. I'm not trying to freak out right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really not trying to freak out right now, and I don't want to scare nobody. I don't want to scare nobody from this part of IVF because it's necessary. It's necessary. I'm telling y'all, but I'm telling myself. It's necessary. Oh child, these joints, 
I ain't trying to scare y'all. These motherfuckers is big. I'm sorry. These is, this is big. This is bigger than any other needle I have ever taken an injection with. Matter of fact, I think I still got. I think I still got a Gamo F that I could show y'all the needle that I was using with the Spelly injection. As a matter of fact, here on my loop run. I want to say these are pre-filled syringes. Let's compare it to the loop rod needle. This is my loop rod. Oh, maybe because I'm opening it upside down. This is my loop rod, my loop rod injection right here, okay? See it, the loop light, the loop light, whatever, that's my loop rod. This is gonna be the first one that I start taking in the belly and I take these in the evening. And my estradiol, my estradiol and my loop rod are gonna overlap. A couple of my meds are gonna overlap. And then I'm still on the birth control right now. So I'm gonna be taking the birth control, the Lupron, and the Estradiol at some point. Well, the birth control will stop, but I'll be on the birth control and the Lupron injections at the same time. And then I'll be on the progesterone and oil. I don't look for it, y'all. Okay, so this is cute. Oh, this is a cute little kit. It come with the, um, okay. So of course, as, as per normal, it comes with the patient instructions or the patient information leaflet comes inside the box, okay? And then you have your um, alcohol swabs. Oh, I'll come this way. Then you have your alcohol swabs that come in there. Your alcohol. And then you have your cute little needles. And I will be taking 15, 10 units. I'll be taking 10 units of this. So I got my little kit. And it got the cute little needle. Cause this is the this is the whole thing. This is the whole syringe. This is the whole syringe. This is the needle. Why do I feel like? Bitch, and I ain't even poking myself. That's just mental. I'm telling you, y'all brain is a very powerful weapon. But uh, <laughs> I jumped like I poked myself and I ain't even touch shit. But, and it got a whole cover on it, so I'm telling you, the brain is amazing. But anyway, um, the needle is in here, so it gotta be about that long. So let's, let me show you in comparison. Okay. They said the higher the needle. Okay. So. All right. So this is the 22 gauge, this is the 18 gauge. Right. This is the one I'm supposed to draw. Yeah, y'all can see that real good, can't you? <laughs> this is the one I'm supposed to draw out my medication with. This whole fuck is the needle. But I'm not worried about that because I don't stick myself with this one because this is the thicker one. This is the one I stick myself with. Hello. It's the thinner one, but my friends, it's a thinner needle. It looked pretty thick inside of here. It looks pretty thick inside of here, but I guess it's thinner than this one. It looks thinner. It looks thinner than that one. This one looks pretty thick. This is the thinner one, definitely. But it's longer. Yeah, let me let me let me let me compare that. Let's compare this needle, cause we gon' we gon' we gon' line them up to the neck neck and neck. Okay, neck and neck neck and freaking neck okay so they're neck and neck they're near this is where that needle ends this is where this needle ends this is what i'm saying normal what the hell can y'all see that normal what in the entire hell so this needle is like can y'all see better when i back up y'all see that oh my god Oh my God. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I don't know, oh. What am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with that? And it gotta go in the ass. Like, I don't know if, back here. Now, I got enough rumpus where I pretty much feel like it's not gonna hurt too, 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 too bad. Cause I got a little, I got a couple little buns back there. It's some muscles back there. But, sis. Let's compare the um, the thickness of the um, progesterone and oil compared to the um, LeBron injection. 
this is my loop around. Oh, that's a tiny little thing of loop around. But I can see that it's waterier. I don't know if y'all can tell. But I can see that it's waterier. It's definitely more liquidy than the traditional. <coughs> yeah, this is definitely thicker. It's, it's, it's an oil. It's definitely thicker. It's definitely thicker than the, the loop around. I don't know if you can see. It's, it's thicker. Alright, so that's the Lupra. This is the progesterone oil. None of these need to be stored in the refrigerator. So we good on that. So I'm not sure not yet back in the box. This goes with the kit. You keep the kit. Keep, it's really nice. It's, it's not bad. The kit is not bad. Got everything you need in there. Got your medicine, your syringes, you know. Not bad. Not bad. And then it's not bad so i usually store these in the bathroom they they don't say that you have to put them in like i don't know i have a little closet in my laundry room and then i have my bathroom so let's put these ones back these ones is do not use to inject these are to draw the progesterone and oil at least it has really clear instructions i'll tell you that because you don't get a live teach till next time i just want to thank you guys for joining me once again on my channel and if you have any uh, questions or any comments make sure you leave them down below smash that like button make sure you subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace